Hey guys, welcome to another quick tip tutorial from the Reaper blog. I'm John. Today I'm doing some mastering revisions. I did this uh, EP master, uh, sent them back some notes on the actual mixes, and they've sent me the new files. So I'm going to show you the workflow involved with getting those new files into a project that already has all the processing done. I'm also going to show you a cool thing to label your regions automatically. So if you haven't watched my mastering workflow tutorial already, you can click here to go to that. And if you haven't seen the uh, monitoring effects chain video, you should check that out too because it's related to mastering. So I've got these files here in my Media Explorer. These four files are the new ones. I'm going to grab this and drop it into the project over top of the original mix. So this window comes up and there's a bunch of different options. Uh, this one here, Add Source Media as a new take in the target media item. It's the one I want to do. Hit OK there. So this shows up as a new take below the old mix. Grab the second one, repeat this process, and the fifth one. I'm going to zoom in close here. And make sure that my start lines up. So I'm going to Alt drag. Let's just zoom in super close and make sure it's just perfect. All right. Next one. I'm using the E key to uh, zoom to my selection. And the fifth one. All right. Now, I just want to make sure that take two is selected for all of these tracks. The other thing I want to show you is create regions from selected items and name by active take. Uh, this is super helpful for setting up your mastering project. So I like to export my songs for an album as regions. In here, choose project regions, and then use the wildcard. I used to do region number and then region. Or if your files are already named correctly, like these ones were, it, uh, it was basically click this once, all my regions are set up, and I just have to export. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks guys, bye.